This may not look like much, but this is uh, part one of the uh, life size Congo build. As you can tell, I built a part of a shoe. The reason why I'm coming here is I want to show how is I want to show how long it took for me to actually build just this simple little piece of paper. I was watching Nick Ricada. I was watching the pre last night's stream, and then Flight Test Buffalo their thing. So if I combine the two times, it took me an hour just to build this one little section. It's probably going to take me an hour, hour or so to build the rest of the uh, shoe, which is this section right here, excluding uh, this shoe part. But as you can tell, I already made this thing once before. That's because this one was just a tad bit too bit was a tad bit too small. So I wanted to go for so I wanted to go for 10% bigger, so it's a so she's a little bit more taller. Again, I don't know how tall she is, or, well, actually, I don't know how to properly scale her because she is sitting down instead of standing up. If I went for a normal standing up idea, building her would be a lot more simpler for scaling, but I wanted a more unique pose, so I wanted to go for the sitting, uh, for the sitting look that I have right now. Which is this pose right here like I've shown before. I wanted this pose because it's a lot more unique and a lot more uh, eye catching than just having than just having her just standing up and whatnot. So yeah, it's going to take me at least an it's going to at least take me an hour four. It's going to take me if, to build the whole legs completely, just one leg, four hours to complete. That includes the uh, next part of her of her foot and then the physical legs or then the physical legs themselves. So yeah, it's going to take at least a day to build one leg. If I really do, if I could really do it, it'll probably I could easily build both legs in one day, but it's almost 5.30 p.m., so maybe I might be able to build one leg today and then one leg tomorrow. I don't know yet. It depends on how I feel. All right, and I'm now done with foot number one to an extent. I'm not going to actually build out the toes or anything. It'll be till later on. I'm going to be putting the toes on about maybe towards the end of the actual full build because... I really don't want to mess with these until like the very end. So all I gotta do now is build the other foot and then start building the legs and whatnot. First thing I actually gotta do though is actually properly uh, properly uh, label which foot is which that way so I don't mix them up when it comes to building the uh, legs. All right, it's the next day. Got both feet now finally completed. Granted I don't have the little ring on here that you see on this one but I'll easily fix that later on. Though the autofocus on this camera is not being really good. So tomorrow I'm gonna to actually uh, build both legs, hopefully. All right, so I'm working on one of the other legs, and my God, the autofocus on this phone stinks. So I'm working on our leg. It's 4 p.m. I'm sitting here working on it, I'm watching YouTube. I think I'll have this done by six. I'll come back when it's done. It's nearly seven. And I'm only this far in now. Uh, I guess I gotta bump the time scale up a little bit. I'm thinking nine, maybe. I'm gonna try and build both legs today. That way, so I don't have to build the next one when I wake up. But uh, I'll come back when I see fit. I'm gonna try and keep this video relatively short. Like I stated in previous builds, when it comes to these things. The part that ends up taking the longest is waiting for the hot glue to dry. Especially when I have to put big old globs like this on here to hold the superstructure. It takes at least five at least takes five minutes for it to cool down properly. I need to look into making some type of little portable cooling system that I can just stick to the stick stick to the side of one of these things and just have it blow cool air or something. I don't know. I technically do have one. It's right here. It's this big old window unit I use. I can use that and just do this with it. Don't know how much it'll actually uh, improve the uh, cooling time of the hot glue, but it does seem to work. I just don't have this in my videos running because I don't want to be Wings of Redemption or anything like those little retards. Though the paint's stripped away from here, so yeah, this window still is not looking so hot. At least the AC unit is relatively quiet. All right, so it's now 9.35 or so, and I finally completed the leg. Well, I'm rounding up. So, yeah. 
I'm going to try and finish the outer leg tonight, but I don't know if that will be possible. I'm going to take a 30 minute break and start up again at 10 p.m. And this time I'll actually use, I'll say, maybe this phone here and actually time how long it takes for me to build out the leg. I want to see if I can somehow build the outer leg a little bit more faster than this one because this one took a lot longer than I even initially anticipated. I only thought like a few hours worth of work when this thing would be complete. It took practically the whole freaking day at this point. Which is really, really abysmal. So it looks like it's going to be a three day adventure with the legs. I'm very close to getting the other one done. But I'm getting very, very sleepy. And I only have like, what, this many more sheets to put together to get this leg completed. So... I can finish that all off tomorrow and I can also finish off the uh, torso area that actually will connect the legs together and whatnot. So uh, yeah. Also another reason why I'm stopping is I'm running a little bit low on hot glue sticks. And my room's a sty. I just really do need to do something about my room being a sty. Finished the other leg finally. I'm currently in the process of uh, printing out the torso which it's going to be a few pages, but compared to the legs, it shouldn't take as long. I should be able to easily finish off the uh, legs tonight. It's currently 9.15 and I'm watching Killstream. Here's another reason why this build is taking a bit more longer to uh, put together. I have my stuff out in my living room so they don't get wet. And it's because of this tank right here. I woke up today to find one of my uh, koi angels uh, on the top doing a, doing the old floater. So I lost another one of my kois. This tank has been giving me problems for the past few weeks or so. It's mainly due to the fact that I don't have enough filtration which is causing this tank massive problems. I'm having to do water changes at least every 3-4 to four days give or take. I need to get a new hang on the back filter because the one I was using died and this one doesn't have any carbon in it. So uh, I had to uh, also take care of my fish when I when they have problems like this tank for instance. So I've been taking the last hour or so getting this tank, uh, giving this tank a full water change and making sure everyone else is fine. And there's my cat. You have water in the kitchen, good god my... My floor, my floors are toast. Thank God when I record my videos, I tend to be over here and not showing my nasty ass floor. But yeah, this is another reason why, why these builds take so long. What I'm going to do is once I get the uh, hip area all reinforced, then I'll just end the video because this part has been going on way too long as it is right now. But I do want to show what goes into these builds and what sometimes takes, why they take time and this is one of the reasons why. Even though this, even though, well I'm not going to get into that, I'll just hit stop here. Well, never mind, I ran out of hot glue sticks. If you're wondering how far I got, this is how far I got. The, uh, main, the main front portion's reinforced. But the, bot, but the bottom portion here that actually needs to be reinforced the most because this will be what is actually taking what well, most of the uh, weight will be subject to while well, this part and probably like a few other slices backwards. This whole section here like I said in the next few parts need to be reinforced as much as I can because they're going to be supporting most of the weight. But I ran hot glue sticks so I really can't go much farther than this unfortunately. So I guess I'll just upload this video as is, call it part one or part two, whatever I'm at. And uh, upload the next one when I get more hot glue sticks.